Hi YouTubers! Today this video is going to be for those of you that have come into the craft of the craft of the wise path. For the new people out there that are just learning about this this path and just now finding out that there's a lot more going on to the craft of the path and just what they're reading in books and what they're what they're hearing from friends. Um, there are a few things that I would like to share with all the new people that are out there that are just getting into this. Um, one of the things that I have actually been hearing about a lot through YouTube and lots of lots of talk around the circles is that I can't do this, I can't afford this, the tools are too expensive, the books are too expensive. I'm going to share a little secret with everybody. You don't necessarily need tools to do all this stuff. All you really need is the intent and the power in your heart and the power in your mind to make things happen, to make things work. Um, the craft is not about, oh, I've got to have the whole $500 grimoire or, oh, I've got to have the $250 asame. It's, uh-uh. Nature is nature. Everything that you need that you want to worship your deities, your gods and goddesses, you can find everything out in nature. All you have to do is go out and look. If you want to build yourself an altar, start going to the secondhand stores, the Salvation Armies, the, the, the thrifty stores, the shopping secondhand stores. You would be really, really surprised at what you can find in secondhand stores. Candles, candle holders, bowls, cups, you can pretty much have all of your tools from the secondhand store and not blow two, three hundred dollars because this this type of aspect where people the, the I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated and angry right now because it makes me angry that a lot of the people out in the world that are saying that well they're supporting their Wiccans and their pagan pagan communities and things like that you go into a store to buy something and a book candles it doesn't matter it's marked up 25 30 40 50 percent and you can't afford it so how can the shops and stores support you if they know that well, if they're the only magical shop in town that they're going to mark up everything and you can't get what you need, that's when you start going into the secondhand stores. That's when you start shopping the thrifty stores. Um, if you set yourself up an altar, okay, any, if nothing, that's the really, really good beauty about this craft is that nothing is carved in stone. Nothing says that, oh, you can't have a red candle instead of a blue candle. You can't have this color instead of this color. Nothing is carved in stone because it is your choice, your religion. You follow what's in your heart. You lead by what your heart tells you to do. The books, all of that's just guidelines. It's nothing that says, well, this book says I have to have a purple altar cloth. This book says I have to have a green altar cloth on this full moon. Uh-uh, no. It's what you feel inside. It is your religion. What they do in their books is their choice. What you do in your your path is your choice. You could go out and... Uh, my first altar, my first altar was two milk crates and a slab of wood, okay? That was my first altar. And... I got the idea from going into a secondhand store because I didn't have money at the time. Candles, secondhand candles, um, seashells. You can find seashells everywhere. You can go into the dollar store and get big bags of seashells to represent your water element. Um, chalices, you can go into a secondhand store and just get a regular everyday wine glass and decorate it and put a pentacle on it. Um, you don't necessarily have to have an athame. You can use a wand. You can use your finger. You can you you can even use a regular old kitchen knife. It would just have to be blessed and cleansed and not used in the kitchen anymore. But um, it all depends on what you're looking for and what you want. I am the frugal thrifty witch. Okay. Money means absolutely shit to me. It does not mean nothing. You, you could stick thousand dollars in front of me and I was like big deal it's only money energy you know I don't need it I don't need it right now so 
you can actually physically go out and find the things. If you want to set up an altar for yourself, okay, go out in nature. Nature has everything. Nature's got river rocks. Nature's got dirt, a bowl of dirt to represent the earth, a bowl of water to represent the water element, um, air aspects. You could pile up a bunch of leaves in your air aspect to represent the elements of air. You don't necessarily have to have all this physical physical junk of having to go in and buy stuff when everything in nature is there for you to use just go out and explore you would be very very surprised to find that nature offers everything to you all you have to do is go out and ask and whenever you want something say you come across an apple tree and you'd like to have a wand off that apple tree you just very politely say I would like to have a branch off your tree so that way I can turn it into a wand so that I can honor my gods and goddesses and come back in a couple of days and see if the tree hasn't given you a branch or something that's falling off or very politely ask the tree if you can have it when you're done leave an offering and say thank you for what it's given you because that's a sacrifice of that tree um, books you if you just seriously seriously poke around enough in secondhand stores you will find books go into usually um towards the end of december january february ish a lot of books in bookstores go on sale because they don't want to pay the back taxes of the stock that has not been sold so they will mark it down for stupid stupid cheap prices so go into secondhand stores go into bookshops when they got their clearance sales go out and get your books then um, it just it's what feels right to you you don't necessarily have to go buy what all these damn books talk about and say that you have to have or your high priestesses or your high priest saying that well you can't do this if you don't have this uh uh no that don't jive with me if you can't do something for nature and, and have nature give it to you and have somebody say well you can't do that because it has to be this and not something from nature then technically you're not in the right group to be practicing with so that's just my thoughts on the whole subject. If anybody has any questions that they want to ask me, I would be very, very happy and very honored to answer any questions. So thanks for listening to my <laughs> thanks for listening to my little rant. Take care. Love and blessings. Blessed be. Bye.